Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my weekly vlog for December 18th, 2016. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys what movies have I finished watching, what video games I've finished playing. We're gonna do shout outs. We're gonna talk about uh, what videos I plan to upload later on this week for on, on, on YouTube. And we'll just go from there, all right? So uh, let's go ahead and start with the movies I've seen this past week. I did watch I Spit on Your Grave 2 and 3. Yeah, uh, the last time, that I made one of these vlogs, uh, talk about movies and stuff like that. I saw the first one, and I thought I had a really intense, <laughs> like, had really intense uh, a story and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what, I saw the first one, let's watch the second and third one too since they released it. I mean, they keep coming out with these movies, they must be good, right? So, I watched them both, and I, honestly, uh, 2 and 3 are actually pretty good movies. Uh, they have a lot more plot to it compared to the first one. Um, the second one, oh my gosh, like, that, that one's intense, man. This one girl, she, she got kidnapped and took to another country and stuff like that and tried to, tried to escape, and, uh, and then she just, she just went all, all out on them, you know? The people who, who raped her, she just went all out revenge on them, which is the whole purpose of these, these movies, right? Uh, I like the second one the best, uh, out of all three that I've, I've seen. The third one, it had a completely different type of, uh, type of structure to it, all right? So she went to this, uh... The, the girl who actually from the first movie, all right, she came back for the third movie, and um, she was like, uh, she, she joined this kind of like a, a support group, and then she was kind of like vigilanteism, you know, like uh, all these other people in, in the support group, they, they were like talking to each other and telling stories and stuff like that, and she took it matter in their own hands, pretty much, so it, it was interesting. If you want to check out these movies, um, be mentally prepared for it, because it's, it's pretty intense, all right? It's it's uh, uh, not as bad as the first one. Uh, I'll be honest with you, but uh, it's a it's a pretty good story. Okay, and by the end of the movie, you you, you feel <laughs> that uh, the uh, SOBs that that rape these girls, you know, they they they, they deserve what they got. You know, the the brutality of it. You know, another movie I saw this past week was Deliver Us from Evil. Uh, it stars Eric Bannon, who played the Hulk at one one point. You know, uh, he plays like a cop. And then uh, during this uh, this one one um, <clears throat> one case that he was working on, you know, uh, it's like demonic possessions and stuff like that. So he, the, a priest like partnered up with him. He's like he's like a rogue priest, you know. He's like like a like normal priest that that we know, but uh, you know he's always like you know, he's drinking and drugs and stuff like that. He's that that type of priest. He comes in and tries to exercise the demons from from the the enemies because he's being possessed, you know, and he's forcing other people to do this stuff for him and stuff. Oh. It's an interesting movie. It's another exorcism possession type movie. I've been pre mentally preparing myself for the Exorcist TV series season finale, which I did watch, and I really enjoyed it, by the way. Uh, that's one of my favorite series this entire year, you know. Of course, that's not like the only. That's, that's like the only series I really watched this year was the was the Exorcist TV show on uh, on Fox. So I was like watching other stuff. And apparently, this is based on a true story and stuff like that too. You know, like like the main character, the Eric Bana's character, is a real person in real life. He's actually a, a demonologist. All right. So this is like one one particular case he worked on or something like that. So it was interesting. Uh, I also saw King's Glaive Final Fantasy 15. This is like a, a prequel story to the video game. I have not played the video game. I, I know what the video game is about. I, I've been watching other people play it. Um. It looks like it looks like that, that that is a game that I will probably wait till it go that goes down in price. You know, I was watching other people to see if I should should, should I get it for the uh, the winter break. You know, I'm I'm done with school and finals and all that stuff. So I was like, okay, what game should I focus on? And I was like, maybe I should buy Final Fantasy 15. But uh, after watching other people play it, uh, I don't know if I want to spend the sixty dollars to to get it. You know, I, I'll, I'll probably wait till it goes down to like thirty, maybe twenty five. Um, 40 probably like the minimum, uh, the maximum for me. Um, but yeah, I watched like the prequel movie, uh, Noctis and all those other friends from, from Final Fantasy XV. It's like in the ending credits, like the after credit scene. But uh, this is like a completely different story that sets up the events of Final Fantasy XV, okay? And as you can see here, I got for five bucks, man. Pretty good price, uh, family video, all right? And oh my gosh, the, the, um, the movie's gorgeous, by the way. It's fully like a, it's a it's a cartoon, you know. It's a animated, but everything looks so real, man. At, at some points, I was like, I, I totally forgot that this is all motion capture and this is all CGI and rendered in, in a computer and stuff like that. It, they, they look like real people, all right. So um, yeah, 
I actually enjoyed it. Hopefully, I, I enjoyed the video game just as much when I play it someday, all right? Last movie I saw this past week, I did make a video separately for this, telling you my thoughts and all that stuff uh, on this movie. And man, I was freaking hyped to watch this. You know, I had, I had to watch it day one, and it was Star Wars Rogue One, all right? Um, Rogue One Store, a uh, Star Wars story, right? I really enjoyed it. I watched it with my dad, and, uh, you know, we had lunch, and then we... We watched the movie and it was great, man. And all, all the cameos and stuff like that, and all the special appearances of the characters from the like the other movies and stuff. I freaking loved it. All right, so I made my own video talking about um, this entire uh, Rogue One uh, Star Wars story. Okay, uh, there's, there's like a 20 minute video on my YouTube channel. I just uploaded a couple days ago, and uh, if you want to watch it, spoilers. There, there are spoilers in, in, in video, by the way. Um, See, so if you haven't seen it, maybe you don't want to know everything about it, but uh, I made a video. I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I guess the only thing that I didn't say in that video is that the music wasn't as great. Like, compared to all the other movies, they have very epic music. Even the Clone Wars movie, um, I, I thought this one had the, like, the weakest set of music. I mean, I, I think there were some good songs in there, but I thought out of I know, the whole movie as a whole, it, it didn't have as good music compared to the other, all the, uh, the other Star Wars movies that we've seen in the past, all right? Uh, that's pretty much my, my only complaint with it. <laughs> it's like they're, they're, the movie's really good. I, I would have to say it started out really slow, though. It has to really, like, uh, you know, introducing the characters. You don't see a lot of action. They're talking a lot. But what, once again, to the final scene, and then they're, they're trying to get the Death Star plans and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, man. So, uh, if you haven't checked out the movie, it's making a ton of money right now, and everyone's going watching it right in the. In, in, uh, yeah, Star Wars Rogue One. Go, uh, go, go, go see my video, and especially go, go see the movie itself, right? Um, video games I've been playing this past week, <clears throat> uh, and actually finished, by the way. I, bit, I did beat um, Final Fantasy Explorers, and I freaking love this game, man. Uh, I've been playing this game for hours. I thought I was never going to finish it, but uh, once the credits started rolling, I actually recorded my ending, by the way. So if you guys want to see me beat the final boss of the game, I actually have it recorded on my YouTube channel, so you can go and watch that. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I, I love the, the graphics, and I, 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 I had to buy... The Circle Pad Pro for my 3DS to uh, to play the game because I, I think the game is, uh, uh, plays a lot more better when you have the Circle Pad Pro. Um, <clears throat> you also see like cameo appearances from other Final Fantasy games. You know, it's like Sephiroth and uh, Squall from Final Fantasy VIII and uh, Clouds in this. Uh, the characters from like Yuna from Final Fantasy and uh, Riku from Final Fantasy X and stuff they were in this game too as like summons like you, when, when you reach like a, a limit break in, in the game uh, you actually summon them and actually be that character during the fight and stuff so I, I really enjoyed it um, there's actually a ton of uh, like post game content so you can fight the same bosses again but now they're much more harder and, and you can have like different options like you can actually turn off you can't use items during the entire fight you can't use magic during the entire fight something like that you know oh you can give the enemies double damage if you want you know you can actually pick out all the things that you want to uh, to challenge yourself with the game you know so I thought it was good. There's like a few more items and a few more uh, like summons that I can actually get. So I'll be playing that game for a very long time, but I've actually finished like the main story part of it. Okay. And if you want to watch it, watch my ending. It, it's pretty entertaining. All right. But uh, don't expect amazing direct capture graphics because I, I just pointed my camera at the at the uh, at my 3ds and that, that's all you guys see. I also completed Doom. That's right. I finished Doom, <clears throat> the main campaign story mode. And this is an intense game, man. They were throwing enemies left and right. And if you want, my entire gameplay is on YouTube also, all right? So I played on easy difficulty. I can't imagine playing on any other difficulty, man, because it was it was so hard for me. There was, like, enemies... So I beat these imps, right? Next thing you know, there's, like, three revenants, and then there's, like, two of these big guys. There's, like, five pinkies. And like, what the crap, you know? I walk into this one room... <clears throat> There's like five M's standing there, and next thing you know, it's like 30 enemies popping out of nowhere. They literally fall from the sky and pop out of nowhere. Like, like if you just watch the video, those like spawn out of nowhere, you know? And I was like, oh my gosh. And then, oh my gosh, the, the, the cyber demon now. I have to fight the cyber demon. So I, got, I, I fought the cyber demon, got the health down. Oh my gosh, that was only part one. There's like a, a, the real fight's coming now, you know? It's like, oh my gosh. So they really throw everything at you in this game. You know, it's a really big challenge. So if you're like, you know, if you want to test your skills as a first person shooter type gamer, you know, uh, pick up Doom. It's, it's really intense. 
Uh, I did play the beta when it first came out, so I got a taste of the multiplayer then. I played like the Warpath mode and the Team Deathmatch and stuff like that. I had a good time with this game, alright? Uh, there's a ton of collectibles, a lot more stuff to do in the game, alright? So I'll probably do that some someday in the future. Maybe later this week or something, I'll probably pop pop it in and actually play it for a little bit, alright? Uh, I, I really enjoyed it, okay? And if you want, my entire gameplay is on YouTube. Like, there's like, uh, I finished the game in like, what, 12 hours or something like that? All, all of it is on YouTube, so you can watch it, alright? Uh, it's in three parts. <clears throat> Basically, after a, a boss, I, I just make a new part, okay? So, um, so there it is. Doom. Really enjoyed it. Pick it up if you haven't seen it, uh, 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 played it, alright? I got it for $15 on Black Friday, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, wor worth the price, alright? <clears throat> um, let's do shoutouts. Here, let me just load up on my phone real quick. I got the page right here with all the people that said shoutouts. All right, here it is. <clears throat> Mario Fan 27, Tanner0823, Light Souls Gaming, Leslie Hawknet, which is not actually Leslie Hawknet, it's her son Trey. That, that, that's I, I believe it's Trey that's that's using that's commenting with. Ethan Schaefer, Mega Dodgers 13, Jimmy Kulas, Minecraft Pro and Jordan Patton. Thank you guys for watching my my videos and commenting and everything. All right? Um, what else? Videos I've been up. I, I will upload this week. People have been asking me, "Hey, Dave, have I uploaded a video of, uh, eat, of me eating pizza this past week?" And it's like, "David, make more of this." I, I'm gonna make another one. I've already recorded, by the way. I just, I, I, I just got it uploaded. There's one of me eating Papa John's. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm gonna just up upload that video later, later on this week. All right of me eating Papa John's. Like, it's just me sitting there just eating Papa John's. That's it. Like, there's no, there's no real, real, real special anything about the video, but uh, I, I do like talk during the video, giving my guys my thoughts and what, you know, how does the pizza taste and stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I bought some garlic sauce. What did the garlic sauce taste like? And, uh, so Papa John's, I'm eating that later uh, later on this week. Well, I've already recorded, that's, that's a video I recorded last week, but I'm gonna upload it this week, okay? Uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, the movie, Starring Michael Fosbender comes out this Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday is kind of a weird time, but I guess because Christmas is on the weekend, so people will probably be too busy or something like that. I, I don't know, but they're releasing the movie early, like like on Wednesday or whatever. Usually movies come out like Thursday nights or Fridays, right? Um, <clears throat> I will go see it. I'll probably go see it by myself. I'll probably go get, get some lunch, go to the movie theater, and uh, yeah, just just uh, see how it is. I'm, I'm probably going to dress up for it also, you know? And uh, when I get home, I'll, I'll do a review about it. Right? I'll, I'll tell you guys my thoughts. That, that's one uh, a video that I've been uh, really wanting to make a review on. Okay, and I, someday I gotta make a out of the shadows. I, I really want to. I have everything I need to make a video uh, talking about uh, Ninja Turtles out of the shadows. You know, I've wanted to review that. People have been asking me what I th think about the movie. You know. And, you know, when I, when I, I made a vlog just, just like this video talking about it. I, I said I like it, but, um, yeah, I, I'll get to it someday, man. Um, so, yeah. And I guess once this game finishes downloading, it's going to take forever. Mo numbers aren't even moving. So, once this game finishes downloading, I'll probably play that, too. Alright? But that's assuming it ever finishes. So that's it, everyone. Thank you for watching. This is my weekly vlog for December 18, 2016. Hope you guys enjoy. Rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later.